these people have gone to Krom. Oh, he's going to go with the Cloud. I like it. Okay. okay. Stay true to the spirit, man. The character is still very solid. Uh, again, a lot of people right now, because it's all a new game. You want to get the new shiny things, right? You want to play with those. And people are just sometimes just, oh, well, my character doesn't work the same. Therefore, my character must be bad. So oh, I yeah. really like people stick to their guns, take some time, learn the game, understand the game, and then make your introduction from the, the important thing to remember is in the beginning of Smash War, people thought Diddy was bad, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> well, you, don't, you don't necessarily know based on your first two, couple weeks impressions. It takes oh, yeah. a bit. But uh, Dance is still kind of trying to play that similar game as Smash War, getting his limit as fast as possible. But being cognizant that there's a time limit on it now, so he's burning it to, like, making ambitious reads. Yeah. And you know, it's fine. I mean, some people are going to, looks like that's the, their option. They're going to go for it and just be like, all right, you know, I'm just going to try to go through and burn the limit as much as possible because of the time limit. Some people, what I've seen is they'll go and they'll purposely charge him to maybe three-fourths um, and just kind of stick with that. And so get a hit, and then at that point, they're in a space where they can go and use limit in advantage. So I like that option as well. And it's also nice because then if you're the one who gets hit, limit charges by itself, exactly. and you don't have to worry about it expiring while yeah. you're off stage. Yeah. The Queen right now is being caught in the corner, having a hard time making it past this destroying. And that's kind of the weakness of Inkling as a character is, you know, she's so fast with that great movement and stuff, but her only real disjoint is her back air. And even then, it's just the size of a Super Soaker. So when right. you're fighting against actual sword character, you're actually, yeah, eating up that double jump, and Queen takes it back just like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of the main things, again, like, uh, for Inklings, it seems like they're going to have a lot of struggle with these disjoints. And so they really are going to have to sit back and really utilize either the splat bomb in terms of uh, an approach based on the hitbox and also the coverage. It's like a smoke screen at times, right? Yeah. And uh, of course, using their amazing dash dance, just going back and through, weaving in, trying to get their opponent to swing at them potentially so they can get it in. That's going to be a lot of major things for some of these characters when they're going to have trouble and the character, their opponent can't really limit them. Just go ahead and move back and forth, see how your movement can influence your opponent. Right, that, that is kind of the fundamental stepping stone of neutral, is realizing that your opponent is listening to you, too. It's not just you watching your opponent. Exactly. Right now, yeah, Dance is uh, not being baited out too hard by any of Queen's movement. He's mostly trying to poke out with the cross slash, but there we go, he gets picked up, but only the first hit of us smash. Like, yeah. Great mash coming out from Dance. Yeah, no, really amazing match there. Corner of Queen, too. Queen uh, went ahead and got the lower into the wavelength. Oh, that's something that you see from some of these Cosmos does it quite often instead of going for either just a regular jump cancel or just going for the grounded cancel to kind of maximize that frame advantage. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dance is he's looking there. so hard right now. He's playing so aggressively trying to get that stock and Queen... Oh, yeah. The fact that Queen gets to now play on the, the defense actually helps leverage his movement so much more. Yep, because, absolutely. <laughs> because it's like, it's like you trying to dash attack a fly, right? It's oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> you're going to call out where that tiny thing's going to be? Yeah. <laughs> You, you literally get the fly come to you, and then you swing the swat. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Okay, the fourth throw. Oh, I'm trying to go for a dash down tilt. Not going to work. That movement's so good, man. Yeah. Beautiful there. Okay, juggle options right now. Uh, up smash. Oh, trying to go for another one, man. We're using the initial up smash of the feint. Yeah. It's going to work out, though. Queen Band managed to hit through it, not falling for like one. It. Wow! I like it. I like nice. It. That's that's actually great coverage against the, a lot of defensive options. We would have caught spot dodge as well in yep. that run up. Would have caught spot dodge. Um, that move is not an auto parry as some uh, multi hit moves may be. Mm -hmm. uh, it has a little uh, bit of a gap in there, so that's also great for that option too. And that shield was looking like like skittles, so yeah. I think that thing would have busted regardless. He's at 80%, has almost limit ready to go, so he should have one more good recovery behind him. Yeah, we see Dance consciously not fully charged up. He wants yep. to save it for a more opportune time. He's going to keep getting those cross slashes, and then that actually does force the limit to freeze up. What's he going to go for? Tries to catch with that back air, but that's the nice thing in Ultimate, is rolls are a little bit further in than they were back in Smash 4, so yeah. you have to more consciously commit to punishing it. Absolutely. That back in movement, you're going to get a grab off this. The back throw with the option, yeah, easy. Hit him with the Tims. Yeah. And that was that was nice because previously Queen had like stuffed out the double jump. So right. Dance was expecting, oh, he's going to wait for me to commit to an option and punish right. that. So he just fell peacefully, but this time Queen mixed it up at the right time. Yep. Got yeah. that kill. Yeah, no, absolutely. And that, that fair hits so hard. So it's one of those things where you might as well just throw that out. See yeah. what happens. Right? <laughs> it, will, it will stuff out a lot of moves. Again, great knockback and great range too. Yeah.
and you know it's unreactably fast as well. Yes, so it's, it's it's something that the opponent has to be preemptively afraid of, which is always in your favor. Wow, Larry was not impressed. He just walked in the background <laughs> there. He's just like, I'm out of here. <laughs> not about it. Larry, Larry is like so unflappable though. <laughs> I, I love it, dude. <laughs> it's definitely one of the one of the players that's a joy to watch when, the, especially when the chips are down too, because like he's just able to keep his cool so much. Oh yeah, absolutely, man. That guy has a plan and he just sticks with it. Like he always says, man, my goal is to hit them, so I hit them. That's beautiful. That's that's, that's <laughs> like that's like the mirror image of that famous Isaiah quote too, yes, right? Yeah. Don't get hit. Don't Larry's get like, hit. find a way to hit them when yep. they don't want to be hit. Exactly. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Smash legend, dude, Larry Larry. Anyways, we're gonna go into game two here on a course as an off Smashville, man. And how do you feel about this? So this is interesting because this is Dance's counter pick, right? Mm -hmm. And their previous stage was Pokemon Stadium two, which has a lot of space. So I think what he's trying to do is limit. Queen's m potential movement with Inkling, right? Yeah. It's going to be a lot easier to force him to not have any room to dash back to, right. and that's going to make him uh, find these sword hits a lot easier. Yeah. And plus, there's a, a lot shorter side blast zone, which when you're getting edge guarded all the time anyway, not really going to hurt you, but because you have so much power behind your Buster Sword attacks, going to help you find that kill. Oh, absolutely. See some drop zone uh, limits going on there. That mm -hmm. could definitely be helpful. Um, we don't see him actually go try to edge guard himself. One thing that you will see more sometimes is two frame. Yeah. Oh, oh, you're oh, done. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. So that was nice because the grenade was gonna fall yep. even further down if he tried to do a later climb hazard and catch him in that situation too. Oh, yeah. So good thinking by Queen. Yeah, options covered, man. There really wasn't much you can do there. Yeah. One thing I hadn't actually mentioned was Queen main cloud when he won the Arcadian. Uh, yeah. Last year, so he is still very aware of how cloud players like to move and think. Right, even though it's right. from the Smash Four perspective, I think that's informing a lot of his neutral decisions here in Ultimate. Oh no, absolutely, absolutely, you can definitely see that. But yeah, I, I would love to see Dan in certain situations try to go more. I'm trying to press that frequent uh, recovery. Um, one of the things that we don't really see all too much, but we will see in time, is again, even though there's a uh, hitbox in the beginning at the end, the end, of course, for Inkling, it's still a susceptible recovery. It's kind of in that middle part, mm -hmm. really like a Rosalina. Yeah. And there's no hitbox. You can go there, do uh, nair, grab the ledge, go for a uh, double jump nair to get back on the stage, and uh, potentially hit them back out. Or even if you know that they're going to use roller to come forward, then you can go and actually. Uh, meet them out there and interrupt them. Yeah, it's a little bit telegraphed as a recovery, so it's very easy to find yourself uh, in between that and the ledge. And it's it's kind of one of those little fragments of Smash 4 mentality, because in Smash 4, committing off stage for those edge guards was such high risk and like medium reward right. that we have a lot of players just trying to stick to ledge, but ledge now requires so much more reading in order to get a proper ledge trap going that it doesn't pay out as consistently. Exactly. Dance is going to find the dash attack, but he's still at 109%. So. Yeah, what can you do here? Let's see. It's pretty tough. I mean, there is still that little bit of rage factor, which not nearly as prevalent in Smash 4, like for a character as strong as Cloud. If he finds that right forward smash read or cross oh smash, oof, but he's not going to find either. <laughs> bleeding, <laughs> bleeding purple, baby. <laughs> My goodness, dude. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful forward smash. That is going to be so good. Just a lot of times people, again, okay, after we're getting used to this movement, we're going to be so many to get hit by a lot of uh, dash back forward smashes. Such a strong point in this game. Mm -hmm. If you just kind of sleep at the wheel and going for the auto, well, I think my moves are safe on shield, so I'm going to go in for a short hop. Like, no, <laughs> people can move. People yeah. can move. They don't have to be there. They don't have to entertain that mix up. And that's a, that's honestly something to remember when you're labbing as well, right? Is that you're not going to, you're labbing on that stationary computer is not very practical because that implies that you have the opponent so scared that they're not pressing anything. Right, right. Yeah, it's always going to be a, a lot about this timing when you're going to be coming in catching them when they're going to be doing their dash in. That also is going to affect their DI, because a lot of times that means they're going to be DI in in that situation. All those kind of things you have to take in the corners because people are just going to be moving more. Oh, Queen yep, almost outspacing yeah. that limit cross slide, <laughs> but not able to find the punish. Yep. And <laughs> I like that dance, like, when he whiffed the Limit Cross Slash, he actually just pressed another button, right? Oh, yeah. It's like, if I have the time to press a button, like, I already know my opponent is going in, let me just hope that they have a gap in their offense. Oh, yeah. My defensive option won't be fast enough in that yep. situation. Yeah, I really do love that. And we've seen that from him a lot, actually. It seems like every single time he goes for a Limit Cross Slash, he's looking for a forward smash right after. Mm -hmm. He's done that multitude of games, so... Let's see. Up, oh, the dash back forward smash. He's gonna land on that platform for us, so that's not really gonna work out. But guess what? Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, Queen wow. was expecting a way stronger mash there. He kept yeah. going up with the neutral airs, not able to find any of them. So Dance gets to live a little bit longer, but he has to be careful about whipping these moves in neutral because that's how Queen is finding all of these rollers. He's backing up a little bit further and just timing them appropriately. Yeah. Yeah, really surprised there. I mean, they definitely had a. There we oh, go. Yeah. Oh my goodness! And that's how you lose. 
<laughs> oh, you man. You said you wanted to see some drop zone limits. I up, did, I did, I did. Delivered. Oh, yeah, yeah. Calligraphy. <laughs> you paint, I paint. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I like it. A I like it. A couple of artists over here. Yep, artiste. <laughs> oh, my goodness. No, I, I love it, man. I absolutely love it. Yeah, that one's going to kind of hurt for Queen, though, man. Had to kill with a roller, but I, I guess he just assumed that he could mash out at that point. And given the circumstance, he wouldn't have been able to mash out in time. I think that he should really should have just instantly gone there, got forward smash. At that point, it was guaranteed, but he just he didn't believe in it. I, I, think, I think the nerves came from game one, where remember we got a roller at about 100%. It was like 10% yeah. less, but yeah. Dan's did manage to just yeah. barely mash out. See, I'm wondering if he oh. mashed. Oh, okay. okay. Green going back to the cloud, too. Okay, all right. Let's see, man. He runs it back on Smashville. Yep. I was like, "Hold up, hold up! You didn't, you you can't Dang. beat me when I'm going my main yeah. guy too." When you when you <laughs> when you're fighting your past self, dude, <laughs> this is actually who's the true soldier first class, man. I want to see it. Between Rock and the Advent Children, I, yep. I love it when Cloud mains are, are conscious and each choose the different costume as opposed to just the slightly different of colors. I like it. Oh man, that. <laughs> okay, here we go. Dance is definitely trying to move here. 63%! Dead even, man! 1% on Dan's is making oh. the difference. <laughs> the 50 his 50 matchup? He needs to spend his limit soon because it's actually yep. about to oh, explode. Yep, yeah. he's going to do it there. Oh. oh, man. The table's turning immediately yeah, okay. on the neutral. These guys keep and get dead yes. and close I, with each other. I love this. this was, that was so brilliant right there by Dan because he recognized. Oh, no! He's He's fine. Okay, he's gonna be fine, but he might. Oh, I love it. Good oh, call. Oh my gosh, Dan's playing so. Oh! Get him! Pay that man. That was actually a read. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was clean. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to see more of that, dude. Freaking parry down smash at the end. Yes. Oh my. Goodness. Give me all that. Is, uh, Dance is playing so much cleaner because this is a matchup he's so much more familiar with thanks to Smash Four too. Yep. He had to do so many cloud mirrors. Every cloud did. Oh yeah. Queen backing up though, getting that F tilt, and we just yeah, have Dance. Jump, yep. Jump, yep. He used his jump to get back on stage. Right. That's gonna be it. That's gonna be rough, man. And still again, dead even once like ten. <laughs> yep. Calligraphy. He's gonna he's move good. back and forth. I like this. Of course, we're gonna have that added buff on the movement for Queen, so he's gonna have the advantage there. Goes for Derek. He's gonna get it. Mm -hmm. And see, this is a good call there. So what we need to see as well, when people are going up against Cloud, because of that 15 seconds, if you are dodging Cloud for a good amount of time, you gotta sit like, okay, they have to burn it at this point. Yeah. So you need to be prepared. Put yourself at a distance where you can react and be safe. Yeah. And yeah. I love that we just saw that from Dan. Yeah, because that way the only thing that could reach him would be Blade Beam, and then it'd still have to travel across the screen. Exactly, exactly. See, he's about to be in that situation as well, so he's gonna have to burn it. Or maybe yep. he can cover. Okay, yeah. Doesn't Queen being so patient every single time he's in disadvantage against uh, Dance when he has that limit? He's like, he wants to burn it immediately. I'm going to take the slowest recovery possible. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you, you got to take your time. Use that platform if need be. Oh, oh yeah, that's the charge. Yep. We, I mean, we said it earlier, dash back F smash is just the wave right now. It feels Absolutely. so good. Oh, no, tries to catch him, sneak, leaping on the edge, but Dance gets his way past it. Still only 61% on Queen, so he still has about, you know, a third of his stock left in his tank. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I, I think that we're going to have to see some clean edge guard coming out of Dance, otherwise he's going to be in a very, very dangerous position here. I, I love make it back. also Queen using this dash up up tilt as a way to cover a ton of uh, jumping options. Oh, dash up tilt is so good. Yeah. It is so good. Especially reverse hit of up tilt, too, because he swings it up from behind him, yep. so it comes out even sooner. Yeah. Also a nice thing in neutral course, you have the pivot cancel F tilts. Those are pretty dang amazing. And the thing too is they're really good because the trajectory that Cloud's gonna have on that, it really helps, especially in this Ditto matchup, to get them off stage and then go for the mm -hmm. You wanna be sending them at that harder horizontal yeah. angle too. Oh, oh, oh got him! His hands yep. right on oh the yeah. Ledge. Don't reach the cookie jar, man. Oh, that hurt. He knows that oh. hurt. Oh. 